So, as you know, the big event uh, this past month um, was uh, going to the uh, National Arts Festival uh, held in Gramstown, South Africa, every year. And um, uh, for this particular time, um, I was uh, helping my wife, who's a, vend uh, a vendor. Uh, she's a, a designer. Um, anyway, she was. Uh, uh, was kind of an interesting uh, journey uh, because we registered for kind of late. You know, we, we registered and had and, and registered for the fringe. Um, anyway, so we, we went uh, we went to bringing uh, bring her where she's a uh, does fashion. So she this time because it's the first time at the, the Gramstown Arts Festival, just wanted to see what it was about. So she did a lot of bags instead of. Um, well, not instead of, but uh, because she does also garments, you know, all kinds of. Well, she did this hat, uh, she does these, did these pants, you know, all like that. All like that. So she, she does the tops, and she's making a top for me right now. Anyway, um, but when we when we got there through a series of whatevers, uh, we were going to a place at the Super Court at the Fringe, but. And going there, uh, the, the the people uh, we were late. Something something happened, and the fringe has a lot of, um, for lack of a like surplus, you know, uh, recycled stuff and, and like that. Some of it's really good quality, but it's it's what it's what it is. And in this in this thing, she sort of really let me put it. She uh, they went to the authorities at at the time. Okay, I'm talking about putting this um, thing together, and they realized that the stuff that she was exhibiting was um, uh, was more appropriate for what's they call a village green. I won't say high fashion, but but you know, unique stuff, really handcrafted stuff. The stuff that was at the fringe stuff uh, was stuff that you uh, recycled that you can get any place and, and whatever you have. And, you know, basically, she didn't belong there. <laughs> and they realized that, and they, they looked at her, uh, they looked at pictures on her phone, and said, "No, no, we, we have to put you someplace else." So they, so basically, we were trans poured it up to the uh, village green, which is um, uh, more, ex I won't say exclusive, but like say for instance, a guy we met there, Stephen and his brother Nigel, they do these incredible, like they, they, these metal things with dragons, or a dragon as a metal thing with lights, and I mean, it's very, very creative stuff. Anyway, so uh, what happened, we ended up at the village green. Now, whew, this is where things get kind of weird, uh, not weird, but um, but because she was there, um, uh, she we were exposed to, let's call it festival culture. Now at the village, they had about uh, eight, nine tents, um, and they all had crafters in these, these tents, most of the time crafters. They had some things like like people selling socks or, or electronics, one of the electronics thing, which is not appropriate. Even this jacket here, this is from uh, Nepal. I've been to Nepal, can I do? Um, and, uh, but this is from a factory in Nepal. So in a way, they're not crafting, but it's just unique to, you know, to the, to the festival, to this area. Uh, but, you know, I wouldn't consider this a, a crafted kind of thing. For, this is made a factory in Nepal. So that's sort of like yeah, dicey there to me. Anyway, but the real interesting thing is that for whatever reasons, let's call it politics, um, uh, there are crafters all over, you know, South Africa, and they do, you know, uh, handcrafted stuff, uh, stuff that are appropriate to, you know, uh, to the culture, uh, to the culture. To, uh, right now, we're in, we're in Isi Klosa country, so we're appropriate to Isi Klosa or Amar Klosa um, uh, culture. And so I, I, I guess, uh, well, the Eastern Cape uh, Municipalities and like uh, um, they had booths, they had well, well, in their stalls, they they were uh, they also had uh, uh, um, uh, stalls uh, for 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 crafters in the, in the tradition. And in these in these stalls, what was interesting is that a lot of the stalls they were like two or three to a tent, which was like a lot. One would be enough, you know, but and even that was was really too much. Um, and so when you look when you look at the the, the uh, what was happening is that these folks were sponsored by the Eastern Cape government. So you had like Port St. John's, you had uh, Chris Honey, you had, yeah, you know, you, you had uh, uh, Buffalo City Municipality. All these municipalities were getting uh, basically they were being sponsored by uh, by the government, if you will, you know, uh, by the municipality, by the Eastern Cape. And um, but these folks. They were sort of just dumped. I don't say that. They were they were brought to the festival without any orientation of what festival is like or what what you're supposed to be doing there. So consequently, you had a lot of um, um, 
crafters, uh, women, just wrapped in blankets, just sitting there waiting for somebody to buy their stuff. No interaction with the, with the, with the public, no interaction really with, with other vendors. And it was, it was kind of really sad. In fact, there was one uh, vendor who was at a lot of, a lot of these folks go to other, to festivals, or that's their life, they go to festivals. And that's how they sell their stuff. One guy was selling these sausages. And um, he was trying to explain to a woman, you know, um, from the Easter Cape, um, how to really sell, but she wasn't hearing it. It was really interesting. We had a situation uh, where I was there for that. Somehow these days they, they miss me, um, where uh, um, the, the the vendor uh, was, uh, well, anyway, of, of, of my wife's store was where it was, and uh, another vendor next door, she was sort of encroaching onto her space. And my wife was asking her to move. And uh, another a vendor who was one of these municipality vendors, let me call it that, uh, she was saying, no, you don't have to rule, it's your right. You know, but she, was, she was saying this in East Closa, uh, unbeknownst to her. Like my wife speaks Afrikaans in, in, in English, but she knows East Closa. So she was telling her, no, it's your right to do that. And it's not their right. It's not your right to block somebody else's thing. But little did it, they use these words. It's very, it was very strange. So let me leave all that stuff alone. All I want to say was very interesting. One, I have to tell you this one time. This, this woman is representing the Eastern Cape. She came through one time um, you know, chastising other uh, vendor for, some, for something or another. But she was not, it wasn't her right to chastise. You know, she was running around like she was a big, you know, a big to do. No, she wasn't. You know, this is a, it's, you have the vendors, then you have, anyway, let me leave that alone. Suffice it to say, the, these folks were, were it was, they weren't, they shouldn't have been where they were, let's put it that way. But we still have a good time here. Let me explain all the stuff that I, I got. Make that a, 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 that was, let's say this is a rant against what happened. Let's do a part two, okay? A part two is all the stuff that I, but now I'm doing right now. Like for instance, this, yeah, now, part two. Stay tuned for part two. Uh, part two, sponsored by me, T, from the Patterson's Taking a Trench into Bed, letting you know what I only suspect.